Watch the truck. What is he doing? Oh. Literally hit the house. That's the ex-wife right here in the white. That's the ex-wife who lives in that house. This is her ex-husband in this truck going ballistic. I'm not saying that that man is a narcissist, but at minimum, he's a very toxic, dangerous person. And of course, if you're new here, I'm a diagnosed narcissist, and I point out people's toxic traits and behaviors. What you see right there in that video happened in uh, California, I think Los Angeles and whatnot, where the woman in the white was the soon-to-be ex-wife of the man driving that truck. She filed for a divorce and refuses to take him back, refuses to let him live back in the house, and that's his reaction right there. His reaction is to get into his dump truck, run into the bed, run it, like where he hit the house at, that, that spot where he hit the house is where her bedroom is at, because he used to live in the house. He knows where the bedroom is at. He was trying to hit the bedroom with his dump truck. And you see, he was tearing up other people's cars in the neighborhood as well. He was backing into people's cars and things of that nature, blowing a horn, stuff like that, trying to intimidate this person having a pretty much a psychotic break or some possible narcissistic rage either or is very very dangerous you get a lot of people that just say why don't you just leave that toxic relationship why don't you just leave them if like you're not happy just leave them you know that's why people don't leave they're scared of reactions like that and if the woman lives there by herself and the people around her are her neighbors the neighbor is filming the neighbor is the one filming the video she had to move out of the house because she doesn't feel safe and it took the police 30 minutes to get there he tore all that stuff up and it took the police 30 minutes to get there to that woman's house he had time to hit her house with that car i mean with that uh, dump truck go back home and come back in another car later on he came back and did like a little drive-by later on just looking at them trying to scare them sometimes the most dangerous part of a toxic relationship is the end of it trying to leave it trying to get out of it because post-separation abuse is a is an actual thing y'all but just because you leave the relationship doesn't mean the toxic abusive behaviors stop sometimes sometimes they can amplify and get worse because that person that narcissistic person toxic person whatever thinks that you belong to them and they don't want to see you with anybody else they can go off and be with somebody else they can try to live happily ever after but you don't get that right because in their minds because i've had something with you because we've loved each other because we've been together for a certain amount of time or whatever you belong to me in the term if I can't have you, no one will, happens all the time where you try to file for divorce and they'll take your life. They'll take you out of here. Stay safe when you try to leave these relationships. Make a plan and protect yourself, y'all. Hope this helps.